Now that President Trump has finally come out and condemned the evil of hatred, white supremacists, and Nazis, and of course now backtracked on that very condemnation, it seems that it's become politically correct to condemn racism and its disgusting display in the events that took place in Charlottesville, Virginia. Now we have also engaged in the conversation of whether Confederate statues should be allowed to stay or be removed in cities across this country. There are important conversations that must take place and cause us to reflect on what we are really celebrating across this country. But we must also make sure that they don't become distractions, distractions from getting to the deeper issues of America facing herself. The question becomes for me, whether we will seize this moment to go into the deeper institutionalized racism that is practiced and accepted in America every single day. The racism of the lack of contracts by cities and states to African-American contractors. The racism of boardrooms of corporate America, media, universities, sport franchises, where the numbers of African-Americans are few, if any, at all. Will America have the courage to dismantle the racism that finds construction sites across Chicago with few or no African-American workers? Will America confront the racism that continues to make African-Americans the number one population in the prison system and the number one unemployed in America's cities? Will America condemn the racism that found in African-American communities in America like Chicago's West and South Sides? that has led to years of abandonment and neglect and make them look like third world countries? Will America have the courage to address the racism that finds children in Chicago who are African American, one out of four of them are in failing schools, while two out of 100 white children are in failing schools? Will America have the, the, the courage to choose to deal with the racism that finds have been tolerated in white neighborhoods, that violence would never be accepted, but it's acceptable norm in black communities across this country. Will America deal with the racism, responding to the vigor of the opioid epidemic that's plagued white communities now, but failed to have the help, the support, and the treatment to drugs and drug treatment in the black and brown communities across America? Yes. America has finally acknowledged the evil of hatred, violence, and racism that was on full public display with the carrying of torches and the waving of Confederate and Nazi flags in Virginia. But America, do you have the courage to look in the mirror and cleanse yourself of the institutionalized racism that is part of your government, part of your practices, and part of your living style every single day that has produced the white supremacists of Virginia? Yes, the question is, with the events of Charlottesville, Virginia, and now the conversation about statues, will they be a turning point or will they become simply a distraction and another missed opportunity for America to deal for real change, eradicating racism from our very roots?